Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, in this video, let's have a look at this Blitzwolf VP9. This is a native 1080p projector with Android TV built in. This projector is packed with features starting with the 6500 lumens of brightness. I don't have the NC lumens info, I did some tests, stay tuned to that. But please bear in mind this is a budget unit. It can project up to 200 inch, supports 4K, has dual Wi-Fi band, Bluetooth and voice control. On top of this, it does has um, electronic zoom and keystone adjustment. We're going to test all this, but first guys, let's start with a quick unboxing. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. guys so this is everything that comes in the box starting with a user manual a small blitz wolf card i believe this is a feedback one an adapter to plug your old devices rca to 3.5 mil av there's also a power lead hdmi cable a quick starting guide and a voice control uh, remote you need to play your own AAA batteries very similar to a tv box remote and of course the main start of the show, the Blitzwolf VP9, golden plate at the front. Let's have a quick walk around, it has this rubber lens cover. So at the top you got this uh, texture, looking good, and you have these uh, menu buttons basically. Let's have a look on the sides, you have, you have this ventilation, this is the extractor bit I believe, and one of the speakers there, you have this fabric over. All right, at the back you have two USBs, there's also two HDMIs, one AV port and one headphone jack. There's also the Ethernet LAN port there. We can see the physical button to turn the projector on or off, double click to turn it off. And here it looks like a dust filter, but I can't remove it, so just let's just leave it. Moving on to the other side, there's the second speaker, same texture, same fabric texture as the other one, no ventilation on this side. On the front, alongside the Blitzwolf logo, we can see this golden plate, makes this look a bit more premium, and of course the lens with the focus dial. No manual keystone adjustment for this projector, you can do it in the menus electronically. Moving on to the bottom, we can see some specs, 1080p, lamp life 40,000 hours and a max power of 140 watts. You can also see this little button, the red button, <laughs> to raise the stand so you can raise your projection level. A bit different from the others, I do like it, so press and goes in. If you wish to mount this projector on the projector stand, you need to unscrew these rubber feet and you'll see the projector mount there, that's four. And yeah guys, that's basically it, let's turn this VP9 on, let's say yeah, it looks alright, of course this is all plastic, I do like the texture there at the top. Yeah, let's not waste any more time, let's plug this, point it to the wall and do our series of tests. All right, so the projector is ready and we're going to project on that wall, just my living room wall, nothing fancy. As you guys can see, the paint is not perfect, it's just a standard living room wall. I already measured the distance and the projection distance will be 149 inch. Okay, so here we are, we've got the Blitzwolf logo. And looks like there's a firmware update, so let's just do the upgrade before our test. So we have the typical Android OS TV menus. We have all your apps there, I haven't installed anything yet. I already pair the standard remote control with the projector using Bluetooth, so it means you don't need to point to the projector directly. Looking here at the video and audio display settings, you can exchange, for example, the aspect mode. At the moment, the screen size is 117 inch, and like I mentioned, the projection distance is 149 inch. 
Continuing here, you have the digital keystone adjustment, which is handy if you can't point a projector straight to a wall, so you can adjust it like that or like that. And this one also comes with a zoom function. If you don't have enough room, you can make it smaller. So this is the minimum and maximum. On the projection mode, of course, you can change the type of projections you have. Let's keep it like that. Looking here at the about, we can see it's running Android version 9. I already set up my Google account. Looking at the Google Play Store, of course, guys, you won't get the full Google Play Store. You get the Android TV version of it. There's plenty of stuff here. Nevertheless, if you want to plug your own TV box, you can do it. There's two HDMI ins for that. You can plug your PS4. We're going to test some games later on. And now we're testing the screen card I did for our series of tests. Let's just move closer to the screen. Let's have a look at the colors. This is my hand for comparison. Let's zoom out a little bit. You should read like and there subscribe. It looks sharp to me, guys. There's some thin lines there. I don't know if you guys can tell. And this one will be thicker, ever so slightly. You should read subscribe there on that yellow dot. And share on the green one at the top. Let me know your thoughts about this projector. Remember, this is just my living room wall. Let me stand back a little bit. There's a scale of grays there, so pure black to pure white. Not too bad, guys. Normally, these type of projectors, they get a bit blurry on the edges. But this one looks, looks good. Of course, it's not super sharp as a, like a TV. But it's not too bad. Let me stand back a little bit. Yeah, guys, what do you think? Look at the colors. We have the RGB there, plus the yellow over there. All right, let's move on to another test. Okay, so this is the basic colors test. Red, green, blue, yellow, black and white. gonna flash be aware of that I noticed that it gets ever so slightly darker there around the edges yeah this is a good example pure white let's try another video just for the colors let me move closer Not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Let me stand back. So we buy the projector now. And this is a black and white picture, so you guys can tell the details. I did this one so you guys can see the motion blur. Let's move closer.
moving to YouTube let's try some videos here let's just select 4k to see how this project will handle it yeah no issues here guys the colors look um, they are a bit washed out for some reason. Let me lower the ISO here, guys. Okay, for the next test, let's open the blinds here. Let's check the difference. Let me lower the ISO. This is very bright now. Yeah, guys, so you do lose quite a lot of details <laughs> yeah okay guys for the next test let's bring this decibel meter so i'm going to turn off the projector to see the room noise yeah guys with nothing playing i guess we get around 35 ish Okay, let's put it here on the top. Back. On the right side. And let's step away from it. I'll say around a couple of meters. not too bad guys not too bad i do have this lux meter here i don't know how good it is i'm going to leave a link for both lux meter and decibel meter down below so you guys can check it out okay so at the moment with the lights on we have 15 let me put it in front of the projector 3000 7000 i don't know how good this is let's go all the way to the wall eighty six so this is quite a good distance nine thousand now guys yeah I'm not sure so it is what it is I must say of course to get the full potential of this projector you need to have your blinds down let me turn the lights off Yeah, much better now. But guys, it is quite bright. Now let's try to play some files from an external USB stick. I know that some of these projectors are quite picky uh, to read these files, so let's try this. Yeah guys, it's playing really well. This is a 4K file. Let's try another one. Really good. Next one. 1080p, no issues. Let's try this 96 FPS 4K. This is quite heavy. Wow, and the colors, guys. I'm, I do like this. Yes. Not bad at all. It's playing all the files without any issues. Let me try this really heavy file. Yeah, the sound is not fully synced with the image. It's struggling a little bit, as expected. Last one, let's just try a 4K with subtitles. All systems go! 
Hopefully you guys can see the quality and the sharpness. Really good guys, I'm impressed with this. Netflix. As you guys can see here, unfortunately, we won't get Netflix HD, the max resolution, it's the 854 by 480. So Google White Vine level 3. Let's just try some titles. What I do like is that cinema feeling you get with this type of projectors. Okay, let me try to show you the best I can, of course, through the uh, camera microphone, the sound of the speaker. Remember, yes, two five watt speaker. I'm going to move further away from the projector. For the final test, let's play some games. I really like to play games on a big screen with some friends. Of course, now during COVID, it's tricky, but of course you can play online. Looks like there's something wrong with the resolution. It might be the PS4. Yeah, guys, really good. You got a bit of grain for some reason. I don't know why, I think I haven't set it up correctly in terms of resolution. Input lag looks all right. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm impressed with this projector. You can always play games from the Google Play Store. Another cool feature of this projector, it is iMirror app where you can mirror your phone. In this case, just the iPhone screen mirroring. And you can see that e share that press it and and guys as you can tell we are mirroring our phone let's check the lag not too bad right <laughs> In just a few days time. yeah there's not too much lag Guys, to wrap this video, let me just move closer so you guys can see the sharpness of the letters as well. To be honest with you guys, I'm very impressed with the quality of this projector. Yeah guys, saying that, let's wrap this video. Overall, I'm very happy with this project. Probably the best budget one I've tried on the channel. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out, the current price. And I'll try to get a discount coupon for you. In terms of colors and sharpness, very happy with it. He has built-in Android and it was quite fast to read all the files we played. Netflix, no HD, but YouTube play 4K without issues. Sound is good, fan noise, of course it's noticeable, it's, it's common for this type of projectors. But yeah, other than that, not much to point out. I'm going to test this one against some of the models I have here, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and please guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, show your support. Thank you very much. Like always, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.